Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with at another super awesome power packed video on PT speaking, the things that you should use and the things you should just avoid. All right, so before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance. You can check the information given in the description of this video. I'll be there, we will be there to help you guide in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's straight away get into the video. Let me just show you my screen. PT is speaking, definitely 100% guaranteed. My speaking is quite low. I'm stuck at 72. I'm stuck at 55. Not understanding how to improve the score. So today, I will be discussing all the things that you are using because of which your scores are low that you should just avoid and the things that you need to use, new things, so that the marks will just come up overnight remember just watch this video you don't need a lot of practice don't imagine i've just finished the video i need minimum one month to do it no it's an overnight trick overnight it will get applied meaning if you just implement this in tomorrow's exam you have to get 90 trusted trust me on this it's a trusted strategy it will definitely help you all right so today we are discussing for all the modules of speaking um starting with read aloud Repeat sentence, describe image, read a lecture, and answer short question. Let's start with read aloud. Okay, so this is gonna be the text. What I do is, I'll just show you how I read it. Okay, observe the commas, full stop, how I am, you know, like um, understanding them, how I'm doing it at ease, am I fumbling with what speed I'm going, how much time I'm taking, all those things you just observe on your own. Let's start. <clears throat> and trust me, I swear I have not read this before and I'm not taking any preparation time because there is a trick. I'll just tell you the trick in just a while. The Netherlands, often referred to as Holland, is a country located in northwestern Europe. Known for its picturesque canals, historic windmills and tulip fields, Netherlands is a nation rich in culture and history. I'm trying to be rhythmic at the same time going at a comfortable speed at the same time zero fumbles zero hesitations i'm just it's like happy i'm a very happy person in that way i'm speaking someone who listens to me believe oh, this person should be very very happy the netherlands oh, oh, often oh, this person is gone case frustrated in the life <laughs> isn't it okay so this is one of the ways you do you read you'll get the scores. What things you should avoid, we will talk, but content is a less priority. You may wonder, you may wonder, this guy said, I said, he has not seen the text before, he also swore. How come he spoke like this for some difficult words? Tulip, Holland, referred, canals. He's just fluent how, because I'm not giving much preference to them. Even if I speak something wrong, let's say for this word, even if I say picture, I'll still continue. I'll still get marks. Pay more attention. This is the first mistake that people end up doing. Any difficult words to try to produce or pronounce so correctly. As a result, fluency gone case. Some people speak like this. Known for its picture, picture canals, zero mark. On the other hand, you just speak like this. Known for its picture canals, historic windmills and fields. I skipped the word also. Will that be a problem? Definitely no. The idea of uh, read aloud is very simple. Fluency, you need to give full priority, meaning whatever the brain that you have, Einstein's brain so-called, use it to the fullest to give the fluency. Content, don't worry, man. One or two words here and there goes wrong. Totally fine. I added this word off. Totally fine. I added this word by mistake. Totally fine. I did not speak this word. Totally fine. At the end of the day, I need that, 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 I just need that. I'll show you more, but the point is, use this meaning, don't give much preference to the content. You have to speak correctly, yes, but one or two words here and there goes totally fine. As you know, read aloud contributes 30 marks to reading, 30 plus marks to reading, 30 plus marks to speaking. If I don't give a perfect content, do I still get good marks to reading? 100% yes. Already tested. You don't really have to worry. We'll go to the second one. This also, I swear, I have not read this before. I'm just starting. 
One of the most distinctive features of the Netherlands is its extensive system of canals, particularly in cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam. These canals not only serve as beautiful landmarks, but also played a crucial role in the country's economic development, facilitating trade and transportation throughout its... It's good to dance, isn't it? You may have noticed, I just skipped it dynamically without having any fear, without showing the signs of nervousness that I don't know how to speak, I just speak. skip this. Well, if I really wanted to speak, probably I would have fumbled Amsterdam, Rotterdam and what is that word? Or probably in 30 seconds time that we usually get in the beginning. I may have prepared for this and would have decided to speak. Amsterdam, Rotterdam, I still don't know, very sorry. Uh, probably I would have said Urecht, Urecht or Utrecht, Utrecht. Amsterdam, Rotterdam and Utrecht. Instead of doing all this hangama, just skip it, man. It's totally fine. Sometimes when you skip, you get better scores. <laughs> you speak, the marks will go down. This is another instance. Just another instance to show how I would read this, read aloud and get that full score. We'll continue the next one. This also, I swear, I have not read this before. The Dutch are renowned for their innovative approaches to land reclamation and water management. Much of the Netherlands lies below sea level, making it vulnerable to flooding. I'm just going at a comfortable speed. What you should not do. The Dutch are renowned for their innovative approaches to land reclamation and water management. This is going to be zero, I'm telling you. This is not the way you read. Or, the Dutch are renowned for their innovative approaches to land reclamation and water management. This is also going to be a big zero, not a small one. It's just the way you want to have a conversation with someone else. Try to communicate with the software thinking, oh, it's a human sitting there. Whatever I speak, he'll say, sorry, I didn't understand. Sorry, I didn't understand. Isn't it? In that way, you need to speak. Speak in a way the person just understands. Correct? We'll take one more example. And I again swear I have not read this before. Today, the Netherlands is a prosperous and modern nation with a highly developed economy, ranking among the top countries in terms of quality of life, healthcare, education and infrastructure. Its capital, Amsterdam, is a bustling metropolis known for its cosmopolitan atmosphere, thriving nightlife and diverse culinary scene. You may have observed there are so many commas. If you want, I can do it one more time. There are so many commas, comma, 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 so many commas, comma. So just observe how I'm handling them. I'm, I'm giving ample pauses. They're not longer short, just what is required. Today, the Netherlands is a prosperous and modern nation with a highly developed economy, ranking among the top countries in terms of quality of life, healthcare, education, and infrastructure. This is going to be zero. This is how I exactly spoke in my first attempt, got 53 or, you know, 55 speaking. All this will not work. Ample pause. Today, the Netherlands is a prosperous and modern nation with a highly developed economy, ranking among the top countries in terms of quality of life, healthcare, education and infrastructure. Its capital, Amsterdam, is a bustling metropolis known for its cosmopolitan atmosphere, thriving nightlife and diverse culinary scene. It's not about going fast, it's about going at a very comfortable natural speed, so that whoever listens to you will not come back and ask you, sorry I didn't understand. They'll say, okay, I got it. Hope you're getting it. Avoid this, what? Fumbles. To avoid fumbles, don't focus more on the content. That is the root cause. Avoid stressing words. Market research is a vital part. I don't know why people do this. Avoid doing it because what things you don't apply or you don't do when you speak naturally with your friends, don't do them in the exam. You don't get the scores. Trust me on this. Exaggerating the pronunciation. Like I said, exaggerating. Those are exaggerations. Whatever is there, you speak, man. Don't have to exaggerate. Don't think like an Englishman. Intonation. Don't sing. Market research is a vital part. Don't sing. And many more things. So I hope I have clearly explained what to follow and what to not to follow. Use this. Avoid this. Fine. We will move on to repeat sentences. Yes, I've got the audios. We'll explain one by one in detail. So, PT repeat sentence, the strategy, the famous strategy that helps you, something that is useful, something that you should be using is this. Listen less. My capacity is six words. Then don't listen to seventh word. You listen to seventh, eighth, ninth, 
tenth word problem. Just start stop here. Listen less, speak less. No, I will speak full. I want to speak full. You go with that thing in the mind. I am telling you, it will be a huge failure. That's what people usually end up doing. Let's play this audio. What thing you should avoid? Let me first show you that. The biology department presents a seminar on the latest breakthroughs in genetic engineering. The biology department presents a seminar on the latest break breakthrough on at ab, ab, about genetic genetical engineering. This is going to be biggest zero that the zero that <laughs> it's a big zero. What I mean is it's a big zero. It's not going to give you mark. It is not the content. It is the fluency. It is the fluency. It is the fluency. Psychologically, we tend to assume that okay, they played an audio. If I speak everything correct, I get the marks. Don't apply your psychology. Don't apply your common sense. Getting it right? You speak only half of it. Or you speak full if you really want, but not at the cost of your fluency. Your fluency should be apt. Whatever the way you speak, whatever the way you hear the audio, the same way you are supposed to speak. Content, don't worry man. This audio will again play. The biology department presents a seminar. So this was the audio. The biology department presents a seminar on the latest breakthroughs in genetic engineering. Well, some are capable of speaking everything correctly. If you are, if you can, go ahead. But if you fumble, mark is going to be zero. Remember this. The biology department presents a seminar on the latest breakthroughs in genetic engineering. You will get the marks. Or you can also say, you can also say, the biology department presents a seminar genetic engineering. The biology department presents a seminar on the breakthrough. The biology department presents latest breakthrough. The biology department presents genetic engineering in the latest breakthrough. Any of the words, you skip two to three words, there is absolutely no problem, but the fluency should be crisp and clear. Hope you are getting it. I will give you one more example. Join the debate team and enhance your critical that's thinking. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, don't listen full. You listen full, the problem starts. I will play and the minute I start to speak, only till there you listen and then you are supposed to speak them back. Join the debate team and enhance your critical thinking. Enough, and enough, 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 skills. enough, enough. Join the debate team and enhance your critical thinking. Full marks. Join the debate team and enhance your critical thinking skills and the, 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 the gone guess. The point what I am trying to tell you, don't focus more on the content. You focus more on the content. There is no space left here. What? To focus on what? To focus on the fluency. So give this brain to work more on the fluency. For that you need, you cannot focus on the content. I am not saying don't focus on the content, focus only what is required. My capacity is 7 words, listen to 7 words, post that, don't. In that way you practice every day. This is what you need to use, this strategy. Which strategy you need to avoid? Speaking full. Well, if you are capable, please go ahead. If you are not, then it is not worth the time that you spend here. Hope you are getting it, we will go to one more. The physics department is hosting a lecture series on the mysteries of the universe. The physics department is hosting a lecture series. Done and good. Full marks. The physics department is hosting a lecture series on mysteries. Full marks. The physics department is hosting a lecture series on mysteries of the universe. Zero mark. Fumbled, paused, gone case. Hope you are getting it. What to follow, what not to follow. All this you follow overnight. I am telling you that tomorrow, the next day you give it will work. You don't need more time to practice. Hope you are able to understand. Join the debate. We will continue with the describe image. PT describe image. This is the template that I have given. It will work. You can check the template of this kind in many of my videos. Same template. It will work. It will work. It will work. Even now it will work. Don't have to worry. Here what gives you mark is the fluency. Meaning whatever the way you spoke in the read aloud. The same way. The same speed. The same naturality you need to bring. Even in describe image. Describe image what Mr. Butterball does. He already knows the template. Starts. The given image that presents a beautiful image that much will not work. Will never work. Software will say, what was? Is this you or someone else? Read aloud, you spoke differently. Here you are speaking something different. Why? Correct? Whatever the way you do in the read aloud, the same speed, comfortable speed. The given image represents a beautiful image. There must have been a popular debate about information present in the image for the keywords keyword 1 and keyword 2. However, information present for keyword 3 and keyword 4 seems to be false. 
from the image it is clear that topic given is or the maximum value seems to be constant. There are many variations of this template, many versions, don't have to worry, this will give you mark. Provided you open the mouth more, add that clarity and speak. Now the biggest challenge is one, two, three, four. Four words are enough, even if you ignore them, you get the same scores. That's a different chapter, everything I'll not be able to share in the YouTube. I hope you appreciate that as well. Now four keywords, anything of your choice. 40, 20, browser, safari. About information present in the image for the keywords 40% and 20%. However, information present for browser usage in safari seems to be false. Don't apply your brain. Oh, this is logically not correct. Software will not know. I just need four things. Whatever you want. You can put colors. You can put four keywords. Or whatever you want. Doesn't matter. What gives you mark is the fluency. So now something like this comes where there are no keywords. Say make man. Can't you make a keyword? Blue. Blue is water. Whatever it is, don't have to think a lot. Now this is orange. Fish. That's it. There must have been a popular debate about information present in the image for the keywords blue and water. However, information present for orange and fish seems to be first done and just a repeat sentence, chapter closed. Chapter closed, that's it. You don't need to work a lot on this. Keyword is not going to give you much marks. It's the fluency, it's the fluency. Just do this, marks will come. You don't do this, try to go behind maximum value, minimum value, that, this, and in doing so, your fluency got completely corrupted, messed up, then no marks. Remember, go behind the right things, not the wrong things. If you're going behind wrong things, what you should do? Take a U-turn and march towards the right things. Follow us, you will come to the right approach. All right, so, Rita lecture. The things that you should follow. Avoid keywords, use phrases. I've been telling this for better scores, please do this because written lecture contributes marks to speaking and listening both. Correct? When it contributes marks to both, you cannot take chances by writing only one keyword, 10 keywords and all the keywords that you spoke, let's say software didn't understand them. Then how the marks will come? If you write phrases, means four to five keywords for one sentence, there's a very high possibility the software understands what you speak, isn't it so? So avoid keywords, use phrases, use lengthy templates like I have written here as a third point because lengthy templates will give you that push. It's like the car is not starting and you give that push. Here the lengthy templates give you that push for the fluency. Short templates may not give you. The speaker said, <laughs> no fluency, you have to write more to get the fluency. Here the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant da, 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 da. It adds that fluency automatically that pushing pushing, pushing of the car automatically happens. Avoid short sentence template, worst case, repeat the content. What is worst case, repeat the content? Let's say you have written only two small sentences, I couldn't write more. Now what to do? Audio was very small. Very simple, whatever you've written, repeat the multiple times until you speak the template. I'm gonna show you a small demo. The strategy that I always talk of is, when you listen, don't write, when you write, don't listen. Here, it's two skills involved, listening, writing. What people end up doing, they listen and write at the same time by thinking, oh, what if I miss this word? Oh, this word is important word. I think every word is important, I'll write. In doing so, people make a lot of mistakes. There is nothing like important thing there. Whatever you want to choose to write, you choose in the five seconds while listening. Five seconds are over. You listen and you realize, this is gonna be a short phrase that I need to write. Just write. When you write, close, close your ears. Again, if you write, again, if you listen while writing, you cannot write also, you cannot listen also. Just divide them. When you listen, don't write. When you write, don't listen. Five seconds, you listen. Five seconds, you write. Like this, you do it for four or five times. 40, 50 seconds is more than enough. Four to five small phrases instead of just keywords. Use the template and speak like read aloud. In the read aloud. Do you correct things? No. Whatever is there, you read. Here also, even if you've written wrong grammar, just read. Don't fix the grammar. You fix the grammar. Fluency gone. Marks gone. So this is the template. Now whatever you have written, the lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about king was from this area and so does the queen. This is one phrase. In the beginning, the speaker explained about city is so rich and it has come to its terms. Or the speaker mentioned about the importance of this person who has died recently. Small, small, four to five, four to five words, one sentence. Write them down, just speak. But let's say if you have spoken only two, you have written only two phrases. Phrase one, phrase two. What to do? Phrase one will go here. Phrase two will go here. 
phrase three, phrase four is missing. Repeat the phrase one for phrase for template three. Repeat the phrase two for the fourth line of the template. Just repeat them. Don't stop so that your fluency will be 90. Listening one or two marks may go down. Totally fine. Whatever you've written, just read it with the template. If you have written only two lines, first line will go here, second line will go here, third line, no lines. Whatever you spoke for the first line, repeat them for the third line. Whatever you spoke for the second line, repeat them with the fourth line. Hope you are getting it, hope you are getting it, hope you are getting it. Do this for the fifth line as well. So this way read a lecture seems to be very easy. These things you need to follow. What people follow is something else. Keyword, keyword, keyword. It seems easy but you may not reap all the benefits. Alright, so answer short question. Dummy module. You know the answer, you tell the answer. You don't know the answer, speak something relevant to the question. Or repeat the question. Or I don't know. Or click next. This is not going to affect your scores in any way, so don't really have to worry at any cost. Getting it? Don't worry, worry spelling wrong here. Don't have to worry about this module. Don't have to pay someone the money for the repeated questions. All those things don't matter. I think that's also use them. Avoid the things that I asked you to avoid. Overnight you will have 90. I can write on a bond paper. You just have to follow this diligently, religiously, consciously. Put that faith in me, please. Yeah, otherwise, it will not work. All right. I really hope I have made an informative content. Well, if you believe the same, like, share and subscribe and leave your valuable comments in the comment section. This is Nakul signing off, N-A-K-U-L, Nakul signing off from Skills PD. Soon, we'll be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much.